Hello my lovelies, welcome back to another designer team project for Create with Scrimping Mummy. I apologise for my last video on this subject. I got the giggles, I was extremely nervous and I don't know why, probably because it was my first designer team video, never having been on a team before, I'm very very new at it and I got the giggles and I'm sorry. I'll try not to do it again, but I'm here with you now to create some embellishments. I've already done some, but I wanted to show you how scrimpy I can get. This was a piece of paper that was shaped like that. I needed some red flowers, I needed some black and white ones to go with the, the thing that I'm doing, and I needed some more little flower centers. So, <laughs> cut out the big ones cut out the small ones, the other ones, and then cut out the small ones. And I've still got a little bit in here that I can do. I might do that while you're here, actually, so that I've got it all done. But it's a case of waste not, want not. I only have one of these sheets of red. So I'm using it to the best of my ability. I might even save this little one here, because I might be able to use that somewhere as well. just be a little bit abbreviated, that's all. Okay, now, excuse me, reaching across you like that. I can now put these into the trash can now. That, or the rubbish bin. I don't know why I call it a trash can. I'm not American. Oh, Aussie. I will put this little flower in here before I lose it. Okay, now, opening this up and turning it over the wrong side where I can see where the paper is sitting. I'll just put them all out onto the mat and then sort the mat in a minute. See, I'm not really wanting the whole lace piece. I just want the little flowers in the middle. But that's, you know, a nice little pleasant thing to see anyway. Let's chop that little bit off because I didn't like the fact that it was all out of shape. And I'll get just one more. Yep, that's done. That's that little piece of paper completely and utterly used. Now I'll get these out of the pile of stuff that I don't need. I've got a hitchhiker. Put them into a little bag so I don't lose them. And I've got two more of these I can use. So that's kind of neat. I'll just empty these little bits and throw them out because I don't need them getting mixed up. Now, the punches I've used is this one and it is a Carl punch. I've had these two punches for a decade or so and EK Success Carl punch, I don't know if you can still get them or not, I apologise, but I'm sure there is something out there that can replicate that. So if you're looking for punches, go find these too, to make these particular little flowers. They're kind of cute. I don't need those. So any flower punches you've got that you can layer up is beneficial. Now I will tip some of these out there. Get my little glue, which I've got to put the lid back on. That was a bit silly. I can pin down into it and see if... No, it's not blocked. Awesome. I am happy about that. And 
And I also have some bling to go on here. In the middle. Oh, that's a nice little one. We'll use those. Okay, my quick pick, quick stick. And we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's get a little production line going here. We'll put those up there. So I want the red to be the base. This is not the, the primary colour for what I'm using, the black and white is. Now I took the liberty of printing out the vintage wallpapers kit from Amanda's Kofi store. And I had run out of ink and it was coming out all blotchy and horrible. So I stopped that print and went to black and white and it turned out beautifully. Look, this is one of the papers in black and white. Isn't that just so pretty? And you can see my, my ink is not... My printer is misbehaving, so I have to do something about that in the next day or so. I'm only putting the, the smallest little dot in here. It doesn't need to be completely glued because what I'm using this for will hold it all down flat anyway. my tongue hanging out my head <laughs> trying to concentrate extra strong here extra hard no I'm not really I'm just concentrating you'll get to know that when I concentrate I don't always chat a lot okay where's my glue my silicone mat this up into the corner here with a substantial amount of glue because these little ones are really really fiddly I don't think I could get the, the glue dot small enough on them to be quite honest I haven't tried a lot either I have to be honest with you about that I just went straight for the the glue blob dab it in and then wipe it off a little bit These do need to set for a, a minute or so, but by the time I get through doing all of them, the first one will be dry, so I'll make a little line so that we know which one's first and second and third and fourth and fifth, and so on and so forth, or fifth. Well, that was good. I chipped out exactly the right amount of little flowers that I needed. That was just sheer accident. It was not planned at all. Come on. Okay, so while I've got glue on the mat, I am going to keep going. I don't know what I'd do without my reverse tweezers. They are just magical. You grab a hold of something and you hold on to it until you let it go and then it all stays in place where you put it. A bit awesome. And two more.
going to need all of these, but whatever the tweezer grabs, the tweezer grabs, and I'll use and put the rest of them back in the little bag. I'm not going to need as much glue, I, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I don't. Let's be real about that. quick stick out and then forgot to use it the first time round. I'm getting into a, a horrible mess. Oh, someone's having a barbecue. It smells beautiful. in ages. I must line up one of my kids and say, right, I'm coming for barbecue tea. I'll bring the chops. You supply the sausages. Or patties or steak or whatever it is you want. Okay, just one more and I might be able to get enough glue for that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Good, good, good. I can get rid of that little mat now. don't need it because the rhinestones are self-adhesive. I've already got them out. What are you doing, Ruth? Now, I think I might be able to get away with the slightly larger ones here. I lost my way just then. I, I was headed for the small flowers on their own, and I thought, no, that's not right. These are going to look absolutely stunning dotted through this little project. Where'd that go? It didn't go anywhere. It was meant to come with me, but it just didn't. even use these on tags or tickets or whatever just needs a little bit of extra embellishment and just one more to go and then these are done I'll leave those for now. I may want to do something else with them. Now, I'll put the lid back on the quick stick, otherwise the sticky stuff will dry out and then I won't be enjoying trying to get that moving again. Okay. Now, ah, oh, it did flick over there. It did run away altogether, naughty little things. Right, so I've got these flowers and I can pos pop them up there to dry properly while I'm showing you the other things that I've been doing. Okay, I've got this pretty little tag backed onto some cardboard from packaging. So I'm using what I've got in my stash 
using what I've got saved up elsewhere as well as all of Amanda's printables. So the printables you see are all from Scrimping Mummy. So, you know, things like packaging, well, you know, that's down to me, but that's okay. Another piece of packaging with a ticket. And I could put a, a little bead in that flower. We'll put the escape, escape artist on there if I can get him on. Yep, just finishes that beautifully. And then there is a little notebook. Once again, it's on packaging and it had this lovely grey design on it, so I left it there because it was so pretty. So it's just a little notebook with half a dozen pages can be used as a piece of journaling, secret journaling, any sort of stuff. Ticket, a big one, and this is collage with scraps that I had left over from doing all of these. I thought I'm not going to throw anything out. I've actually started a, a master board. Where did I put that? Where did I put it? I stashed it so well, I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> I was going to show you. It's going to have to wait for another time. I'm sorry. I'm not going to waste too much of your time waffling over here. Okay, there's a, a tag again with the little flowers along the side and a nice little sticker and packaging once again on the back for stability. Now, just a little piece of journaling paper. This is also part of the the wallpaper range printed in black and white. The colours are absolutely stunning, but as I said, up my printer was playing up, so I did it in black and white. I will have colours next time around, though. So that's just open for journaling on. And another piece of packaging here is very lightweight. I've got my paper lace down here, one of Amanda's journaling words, phrases, and the piece of paper there as well. So. What am I going to do with all of these? Well, you might ask. And I don't think I'll show you this video. I'll save that to next time. Love little teasers. <laughs> My favorite thing to do is tease you a lot and then show you what I'm doing later. Okay, so on that little quick note, I will love and leave you. Thank you for joining me. Please leave a little comment and I will catch up with you later. Bye-bye for now.